Hi, welcome to another video. So, OpenAI recently launched Deep Research. It is an option that allows you to basically give a research task for O3 to do, and it can go ahead and search 100 S of sources to make a detailed report on that topic. They claim that it can create a comprehensive report at the level of a research analyst, which is quite awesome. But Deep Research is only available for pro users, which costs $200, and you can only use it 100 times per month, which is hellishly expensive, and you'll still be limited. Another thing to mention is that Google also has a product with the same name, but it works with Gemini, and actually came before this, and OpenAI still named it this, which is a little interesting for sure. And if you look at the interface, then it is quite similar to DeepSeek's thing as well, which is also a little interesting. But, as with anything, multiple open source options for it have hit the market. And one of the best ones that we now have is by browser use themselves, because they have now upgraded their browser use web UI to include a deep research like feature that allows you to use it just like OpenAI's deep research and you won't even need to pay a cent by using something like Grok's R1 or even Gemini 2.0 Flash. It does everything directly in your own browser, and you don't need any search APIs or anything like that, which makes it super good to use. It also uses multiple collaborative agents for the tasks, which means that you'll generally get some cool results with it. For the best results, they recommend that you use a reasoning model from the likes of DeepSeek's R1, Flash Thinking, or even O3 Mini. So, let me tell you everything about it and how it all works. But before we do that, let me tell you about today's sponsor, Photogenius AI. Photogenius AI is an all-in-one AI-powered art generator that allows you to type anything and get stunning visuals instantly. Photogenius AI gives you all kinds of image generation models in one place, whether it be Flux, Stable Diffusion, Kardinsky, or any image generator model that you can think of. They have also recently added their new 3D generation suite, which allows you to give it a prompt or an image, and it can generate a 3D model for you that you can use anywhere. Not just that, it also gives you the option to do advanced AI image editing as well with their cool AI tools like an AI avatar generator, background removal, logo generator, emoji generator, or even add an app icon generator. And the best part is that it starts at only $10 and you can get an additional 25% off these already great deals by using my coupon code KING25. So, Make sure that you check out photogenius.ai through the link in the description and generate some cool stuff with it. Now let's come back to the video. So, this new upgrade has added support for Deep Research and R1, and other reasoning models are now fully supported as well, which is also great. Now, what will we be using with it? Well, if you are looking for free options, then you can use Flash Thinking which is great to use and also free, or you can also use R1 Distill via Grok or Cerebras. But Grok and Cerebras have a token per minute limit, which is something that I don't like, because most of the time you need to allow it to generate long text. Instead, I've been using Samba Nova with DeepSeek R1 Distilled Llama. So, I'll be using that, but you can also use Gemini Thinking if you prefer. Or you can also use O3 Mini or anything else like that as well. So, that's also great. Now let's just set it up and let's use it as well. So, to set it up, you have two options. The first option is to use it fully locally. Or you can also use Docker as well. I like using it fully locally. Let's just get it cloned by running this command. And once that's done, just get in the folder. If you already have it, then you can just update your installation 
by running the git pull command and it will get updated. Once that's done, you can just run the pip install command, which will install the required packages. Now, just run the playwright install command and it will install the browsers required for scraping and everything like that. Once all that's done, we can now start using it. Just run this command and open it up in your browser. Now, here you'll see this UI. I have covered it before, and you can check my previous videos on how it works. But, in simpler terms, you can set up the browser use settings in these options, and then you can make the agent perform a task by writing it here and asking it to work on it. But in that case, it only controls a browser and is not properly aligned for deep research. So, they have modified this to do deep research, and you'll see it now in this option. You can see in this deep research option that it now allows you to give it a topic along with a max search iteration indicating how many times it can search, and it also has the max query per iteration option of how many times it can query the LLM and stuff like that. Now, to configure the provider and LLMs, what we can do is go to the LLM configuration tab and select the provider as OpenAI, Gemini, or anything you want. I want to use the Samba Nova API. So, what we can do is choose the provider as OpenAI, then put in the base URL, then input the Samba Nova API key, and then provide your model name as R1 Distill, which is generally this. So, just keep it like this, and once done, we can now start using it. Let's just go over to the Deep Research option, and here we can ask it to do some research. Let's ask it to create a detailed report about DeepSeq R1, and let's send it. Once we do that, what you'll see is that it will perform some Google searches at first. And if we wait a bit, then you'll see that it will open up a bunch of Chrome windows to process multiple articles at once. And it is actually quite amazing to see. It seems like a proper researcher doing its work, and it doesn't cost any API or anything like that, which is great to see. Anyway, if we wait a bit for it to process, then you'll see that it's now done. It closes everything. And now we have the final research report. You can see that this is a properly detailed report that covers every detail of each thing and everything like that. This is how it works. You will see varying results when using different models, and it depends on what you like best. It doesn't cost even a cent if you use the correct models, like Gemini Flash or R1 Distill, as in my case. It's a fully free and unlimited alternative to OpenAI's $200 Pro plan which is not only expensive, but also limited to only 100 queries a month. So, this is surely a good alternative. It also doesn't require you to use any kind of search API, which means that it doesn't cost you any money on the expensive search APIs. So, this is something good for sure, and browser use has really become something really good now, with a ton of features. Overall, it's pretty cool. Anyway, share your thoughts below and subscribe to the channel. You can also donate via Super Thanks option or join the channel as well and get some perks. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.